Welcome to Analytics with Nax. In this video, we are going to talk about Power BI release October 2022. And this is part of Catch Up with Nax series. And for your information, I'm not recording with my regular mic. So you will have a different uh, voice of Nax. So don't complain about uh, my uh, mic quality. Uh, in upcoming videos, I will uh, have a good quality videos in terms of voice. With this note, let's begin our today's update. So October 2022 futures, most of the futures, uh, they release as usual in terms of modeling, analytics, data connectivity, everything together. And two to three items I like the most. One is related to performance improvement. Like when you do a index of searching of the strings, right? I mean, they created index for the imported string columns on the fly. Basically, uh, when you use um, in the filters, use when you try to search some text columns, it takes a lot of time. So they improved uh, it by introducing an index for the string columns. That is one of the good feature I like the most. And the next thing is all about quick measures. Uh, this is already a future existing, but here there comes with uh, some new kind of um, uh, window or the tool and we can explore it much in our upcoming videos. So this is the uh, second one I like the most. And uh, the third part is like um, the third thing actually is like downloading Power BI is now available for more scenarios. Let us try to check uh, all together, but all, uh, from the all this list, I like these three, whatever I explained right now. Let's go through one by one quickly. So reverse stack order, basically like in the stack chart, you cannot reverse this order. Right now they made it available in one option, like you can do the reverse of uh, when you uh, toggle uh, reverse stack order on, then it will be reversed you see this is uh, reversed now this is one future they introduced now the second one is all about query performance as i said indexing imported string columns on the fly so very first time they are not uh, creating any uh, um, index for all the strings once you use the uh, strings in the filter then you apply the filter first right you search for contains using a string at that time only they initiate the index. So very first time it will be little slower. The second time onwards it will be faster. And also one more point they highlighted is like it is uh, only as soon as you open the uh, desktop it will be uh, reinitiated. Every time you open it it will not be by index is not stored. Okay. And uh, you can see here uh, the pushing top end filters to direct query sources. Until now the when you use the top end the top end operation is performed in the DAX right in the Power BI layer. So now Power BI team has made the top end columns or the queries will be pushed towards your source okay that is what they made so in that way it will be little faster when you use the top end so once uh, someone some people always complained uh, about when they use a the top end it will little slower so i hope when you download the latest version in this release it will get much faster so this is one more thing uh i i'm pretty much not sure about metrics i didn't use it yet i will come to that in a new video let's skip that one for now analytics so this is what i said quick measure suggestion so you can see here it suggested uh, some of the uh, measures sales amount for california in 2020 you can start writing in a natural language um, like they made some ml models to when you write um, some natural language query that will convert your equivalent dax and will get you the results this is very preview phase so they will keep improving it so you can try it out you can use this dax and put it as a another card or you can use it in any other visuals so it will suggest you can take a copy of that dax this is very good future so people uh, no need to worry about uh, 
writing complex tags but obviously uh, you will end up with uh, when you ask uh, somewhat difficult questions DAX will be confused you will not get a proper answer but writing a simple measures obviously it will give you uh, correct DAX functions so in order to enable it go to preview future and just check this box that is one good thing about um, this uh, measure suggestions then coming to the modeling um, relationship editing in the properties pane so basically you you need to double click here uh, to uh, edit the relationship now the relationship can be edited as part of the properties this is good in terms of those who are coming uh, very new to this um, power bi they will uh, make it easy to give the relationship easily in the properties pane but someone who are uh, familiar with the old format they will little confuse what is this future but you need to get updated uh, videos like this that is fine and going to the dax formula bar supported it doesn't matter whether uh, the bar is appeared in the modeling view earlier when you come to modeling view the DAX formula bar won't be uh, Available that is fine. I mean, it's a small improvement, but it will be good for uh, uh, Someone uh, don't confuse anyone. That's a good thing about it then Connectivity and preparation introducing tenant settings for power bi data maths uh, Okay, so the, the data maths uh, you might aware like um, you need to enable some uh, tenant settings for the data maths as well. So data maths, if you are uh, not aware, it's kind of full functionality of ETL behavior. And once you do the ETL, your data will be stored in your Azure SQL database. I didn't make any video on this. I will quickly uh, made uh, in the upcoming weeks. So that is the one thing and we can skip all these things. I'm not sure because most of the people don't use uh, this social bait uh, or all other uh, things, right? The other thing I highlighted, I like this here. Downloading Power BI X file now available for more scenarios. Basically, currently when you download a Power BI file, it will download along with the data. Once then there is an option when it's a very big data set, you cannot able to download as well. That is a problem currently people uh, face. So now there is another option, copy of your report with a live connection to data online. So basically what it will do is your data set will reside and you will download only the report part of it, right? So that is what uh, they given uh, additional options right now. That is good. And this is not applicable if you use certain types of source as well. That is what uh, the next uh, paragraph says about let's try to move this one here and uh, introducing tenant settings for email subscription for uh, external users this is uh, somewhat uh, admin related task let's skip that one deployment pipelines so deployment history this is very important like a deployment history uh, because when you do a deployment what went and what are the things uh, it has uh, moved what are the objects it has moved and um, those history is not at preserved till this time so now a power bi team has come up with the deployment history where you can have list of changes what it went right this is very good future so that's it i think uh, whatever i like other things are uh, as usual you have uh, some kind of visuals and uh, new new um, uh, custom visuals they have introduced and you can go through it as part of this um, website right so you can uh, search for power bi october 2022 if you are interested in uh, learning about what are these um, visuals then you can go through it always if you like this video hit the thumbs up button and comment below for queries do remember that data is your asset